Natasha Denona has some new chromium liquid eyeshadows. They look bomb, and I am so excited to test these out. Dang, these look small. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Mariam, or welcome back to my channel if you know who I am. In today's video, I'm gonna be testing out and reviewing Natasha Denona's new chromium liquid eyeshadows. All five of them, I'm going to be swatching them and conducting a Team Truth style review. That is what we do here on my channel. I conduct honest reviews, wear tests, and basically give you guys verdicts on all these products that I'm reviewing at the end of the video. So today I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna test out these eyeshadows on actual lids, not just on my own lids, but also on my swatch models lids. And I'm gonna try different techniques. I'm gonna see whether this is really smudge proof, whether it's really fade free and crack free and peel free like they say. And also I'm gonna be doing a wear test because this is supposed to be a really innovative, different formula. So I'm definitely here for that. I expect great things from Natasha Denona because her products are generally superb. She set the bar really, really high, especially for me. Remember to subscribe if you aren't already. Hit that notification bell so you can see all of my Wednesdays and Sundays videos. And now let's get to it. Natasha Denona Chromium Liquid Eyeshadows. How good are you? Let's see. All right, we have newness from Natasha Denona, Chromium Liquid Eyeshadow. I love this PR box. It's very hypnotizing. Inside we have these five new eyeshadows. So these are supposed to be super chromatic, duochrome, shape-shifting, color-shifting types of liquid eyeshadows. $28 each. These are pretty small for $28. However, the formula is supposed to be super innovative, very unique, never before seen, jelly and moussey type a formula, high chrome benefits, high buildable coverage, no cracking, no creasing, no fading. So that's really, really promising. Those are some high claims because typically shadows like this do tend to crack or crease or fade. Moisturizing, comfortable wear, high percentage of natural derived ingredients, comes in five shades, talc-free, mineral oil-free, fragrance-free, $28, like I said, cruelty-free, paraben-free, gluten-free, made in Italy. So I was very, very excited about these particular eyeshadows or this like very unique product. As soon as I saw Natasha Denona posting about it, I was like, yes, this is for me. This is the type of metallic finish that you can't really get from pressed powder eyeshadow. You definitely need some sort of a transformative type of liquid. Before getting into the video, let's do some swatches. I'm actually gonna do the swatches on my own arm first because I really wanna see what the texture is all about. The first shade that I am going to swatch is called Infra Nude. I really like that even the package kind of like reflects what the color is supposed to be. So this is 2.5 milliliters or 0 0.08 fluid ounces. So really not a lot of product at all. Infra Nude is a gold yellow red slash pink. Ooh, that one swipe. That is beautiful. I almost feel like I'm wasting product by just swiping once. I definitely sh see the shift from green to nude to pink. And I kind of also am able to see that in the tube. There's definitely a lot of golden green in this one. All right, next one is Dragonfly. And Dragonfly is a purple gold orange. Purple gold orange. Whoa, baby. Definitely very, very pretty. I see a little bit of olive. I see a little bit of pink. Next, we have Dogbane. I'm not sure what that means, but Dogbane is a red, orange, gold. Let's see how that swatches. Ooh, looks really, really, really pretty. I even see some purple and teal in this color. I don't know if it's just me. Woo, kind of an ugly swatch, bad angle, but wow. Pretty, 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 pretty. Next up, we have Scarab, which is a gold, yellow, and blue. Here's Scarab. That is mighty fine, mighty fine. And last but not least, we have Ultraviolet, which is a violet, purple, green. Stunning. Honestly, all of these colors look like dragonflies to me. They look like some type of a beautiful duochrome insect. I actually want to test out these colors on some lids. So before I create a look, I'm going to call in my swatch model, who's not going to be a swatch model today. He's going to be an actual model model. And I'm going to try out some of these shades on his lids. I'm going to see how quickly it takes to set. And also I'm going to see if I can blend them out, if it's possible to blend them out, whether I can apply them with a brush or with a finger. Let's check it out. Yay! So 
swatch model time. Okay, which one's your favorite color? Look at those swatches. Oh man, I'm gonna be such a guy right now. They all look the same to me. <laughs> I was gonna go for the dragonfly for you. And you wanna do the infra nude? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna test out the infra nude. I wanna see how exactly this applies to the lid and how quickly this sets. All right, so here we have infra nude on the lids. It actually looks really, really pretty, super metallic, very wet. And let me see what happens if I actually try to blend that out with my finger. When I blend it out with my finger, I'm definitely starting to feel the jelly formulation that they're talking about. And I like how easily it blends out. So you can definitely create kind of like a soft line, but I like that it still maintains that nice vibrancy. Man, his inner corners are so deep. I'm so not used to that. All right, let's turn to the side. That is beautiful, oh my God. I'm like obsessed right now. Can you open your eyes? I'm slightly jealous of your large lids right now. At this point, it's still feeling just a little bit tacky, but I can tell that it's going to set pretty solid. All right, let's try out the shade Dragonfly. And this one, I'm not actually gonna blend out. Instead, I want to apply that very specifically, almost in a line. Create that nice, clean edge. Thank you. Slightly different technique used on this lid, but I did want to see whether it was easy to apply it as a solid color rather than blending it out. All right, open your eyes. Oh yes. Model for us. Is it? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> so now I kind of just want to test out these swatches and see if they are feeling solid. This one's not super dry yet, but the rest of them aren't going anywhere, so that's kind of nice. But you see what happens when I try to blend it out? It definitely does disperse quite nicely. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty impressed. Definitely feel like this is something unique that I haven't really seen before. So I am here for the innovation. So what I'm gonna do today is Try out a look, of course. So we just tried Dragonfly and Infra Nude on Lee. So for me, I'm thinking I wanna go with either Scarab or the Ultraviolet. Those were the two colors that really kind of spoke to me. I'm gonna add a little bit of an eyeshadow base to my lids. Right now in front of me, I have these new nine and 10 snap palettes from Fenty. So that is what I'm gonna be using. Kind of wanna go with the wine today. So let's go for the wine. Not even gonna apply any type of primer onto my lids because really all the color is going to be above the fold. So hopefully I'll be good. I'm gonna take this Sigma Diffuse Crease E38 brush and this purple shade here. I'm going in like rather aggressively, basically going to define my outer socket. I do want it to be kind of dark and matte. I'm gonna start out with kind of like a wash of color on the inner corner, and then I'm gonna blend it out with something fluffy and clean. This is a Wayne Goss brush, number 03. I'm just trying to keep this base as simple and effective as possible, adding a bit more of that purple and just diffusing a bit gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna take just a little bit of this nudie shade and just blend out the transition just so that the purple isn't so harsh. And I'm also gonna take a much more precise brush and kind of just re-emphasize that purple, fill in any gaps. I'm gonna pick up this ultraviolet chromium liquid eyeshadow. I'm gonna use the same little fancy mirror. I'm gonna start by adding just a pinch to the center, kind of like that, and then blend the rest out with my finger. I feel like you really don't need a lot of product here. This is the type of eyeshadow that is super pigmented at just one swipe. I really like the way that it blended out on Lee's eye, so I'm gonna try that technique here. I'm gonna go kind of fast, I'm gonna tap out the inner corners so that there's no harsh edges, and just go over everything like that. That looks really, really, really nice. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So first applying the majority of the product to the center of the movable lid and then kind of diffusing and spreading it with my finger all the way to the inner corner, to the outer corner and making sure that the edges are nice and soft. I do notice that it kind of removed some of the color from here or maybe it's the shape shifting that's happening that's making me feel like it removed some of the color. I can't tell, but you know what? I do want to re-emphasize the center a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do first is just clean up the edges with the brush just to make sure that everything is kind of seamless between the matte and the chrome like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and 
straight from the wand, just add a bit more of that product closer to the movable lid. So this is said to be buildable. So that's what I'm doing. I just am building it up. Now that I've done that, I can definitely see the shift between the purple to the green, back to the purple, kind of like what's reflecting off my finger. I'm gonna let that sink. It actually feels very, very cool on the lids. So that's how I know that it hasn't really set yet. So it needs a couple of seconds to just really solidify. While it's doing that, I'm gonna work on my lower lash line. I'm just gonna take this one size point made busty brown pencil, line my lower lash line and kind of just wing that out from the bottom. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take whatever's remaining on my finger and I'm gonna see if I can transfer some of that sparkle onto my lower lash line. In fact, I can, definitely doable. And so far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on my other eye. And I'm also gonna line my waterline. All right, smoldering, smoldering, smoldering. I actually am finding that I want just a pinch more of that shimmery sparkle on the bottom. So I'm gonna add just a dot of that to each side. I'm gonna use a tiny, 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 tiny little brush to blend all that out. You know what? I also feel like this look needs a more emphasized wing. So I'm going to give it that wing that it deserves. I'm liking that other products are applying really well over this eyeshadow. Nothing is really feeling too crinkly. Boom, boom. So far, this is looking really, really glam. I'm not looking glam at all in my tie-dye. So we're gonna have to transform just a little bit. I'm gonna add these Charlotte T Glamour Lashes. Ooh, do you see how pretty that reflects? Do you see that green? I'm loving that. All right, you guys, I can no longer take this clash of styles. So now that I've applied my lashes, I need to revamp this whole Whole look and this whole attire. So I'll be back for my final look and then for that wear test. Straighten my hair, added a little bit of twiggies on the bottom lower lash line, just to bring everything together and to make everything match this very duochromatic, very dramatic type of eye look. I actually also extended my liner just a bit. I didn't touch the brows. I added a nude liquid lip, Corderosa by Sigma Beauty, and I left the face as is. I kind of wanted to go for a very Victoria Beckham meets Morticia sort of vibe. Mm, mm. So I feel like I was able to pull it off. Right now, I'm liking my makeup a little bit more than what I did before. Now, looking at the eyeshadow up close, I'm seeing no creasing, no smudging, no cracking whatsoever, but it is fresh, and I just applied it on maybe 20 or 30 minutes ago. So, so far, it's looking good. I also like the fact that the eyeshadow was very flexible. It didn't dry down to a crackly sort of texture or finish where it was really hard to drag your liner across it. I felt like it worked with other products products and I absolutely love the colors. They literally look like butterfly wings. Right now looking at my eyes, I am just mesmerized by the color and that's exactly what's drawing in all the attention. So that I love. I do wanna see how this product wears at least after five hours of wear. Generally speaking, shadows like this, whether they are from Becca or from Huda Beauty, Stila, you name it. Typically those eyeshadows tend to crack and peel a little, they tend to to fade after hours of wear. So I wanna see what happens to this eyeshadow after five hours of wear, and then I'll really determine my final verdict. Let's cue in some of that good old time warping music for that wear test. Wear test time. So it's been about five hours of me wearing chromium on my lids. Let's zoom in and let's see what it looks like up close. In this lighting in front of my big mirror here, you could really see the shift between the purple and the olive. And I think it looks so, so cool. With my eyes closed, you definitely can see some crinkling or uh, texture emphasis on the skin of the lids. However, it's not anything out of the ordinary. It's not anything that wouldn't typically happen with shimmery or with liquid chrome type of shadows. The best part though, and this is something that you don't often see with these types of shadows, is that there's absolutely no cracking or peeling. The color looks even, there's no fading. Everything honestly looks like it's just been freshly applied 30 minutes ago and it's been five hours, like I said. 
So I am pleasantly, pleasantly surprised, but not really surprised because I was kind of expecting this from Natasha Denona. I was expecting superb products and I am really, really pleased. My only concern is I want more shades. I am seeing a nice, oyster shell shifty type of color like a peach to lavender oyster shell or even a silver to gold with a little bit of champagne in there that would be amazing please and thank you those are my two final scents check out my other videos that i put here for a reason one of them being the review of this new nars foundation which by the way is looking kind of good after five hours of wear but not after eight hours check that video i'll see you guys in the next one Mwah.